The views from the Mount Defiance Trail are spectacular. It stands in the middle of the Columbia River Gorge between the towns of Cascade Locks and Hood River. To begin, park at the Starvation Creek parking lot. Yep, that's the real name. It's just off I-84. Go early if you can. It's a decent sized lot, but spaces fill up fast. This map from all trails shows the hike is a loop if you want it to be. I've only gone up the main trail on the left side here. And those contour lines on the map, they show the elevation gain is pretty constant. It's 12 miles round trip and you will climb 4,960 feet up. It had been a few years since I'd climbed Mount Defiance, but a friend wanted to go over Memorial Day weekend, and I figured, what the heck, let's go. The beginning is deceptively easy, and the sights stunning not far from the parking lot. The first in a series of waterfalls is called Cap'n Creek Falls, nearly hidden by a huge boulder made of basalt. It plunges 200 feet from above, and always makes me feel the trail ahead will be easy and fun. Don't be fooled. The vertical gain between the parking lot and the top of Mount Defiance is similar to the gain between Timberline Lodge and the top of Mount Hood. It's sometimes used as a training climb by serious mountaineers. Farther down the trail, you'll come to a wooden bridge and a second waterfall called Hole in the Wall. It drops nearly 100 feet. It was created back in 1938 when engineers dug a tunnel and changed the path of Warren Creek, which was washing out the historic highway. Keep going and you'll reach the last of the waterfalls. This is Wonder Creek and the lower part of Lancaster Falls. You can't see it all, but it tumbles 250 feet down the mountainside. The water hits the ground so hard, it creates a refreshing misty breeze that moves the nearby grass. So this is a pretty challenging trail. It goes in, I think it's roughly five miles, maybe six miles, I think it's six miles, and it's up 5,000 feet. And the first mile is not that steep, so that is a lot of elevation. And we might as well get underway. In early summer, the trail is gorgeous, filled with green plants pouring out oxygen to help with the climb. What's not helpful is the poison oak. Be careful, we saw lots on our hike. I found myself pausing often with the excuse of capturing scenes of the Columbia River. I also appreciated the chance to catch my breath. The trail winds along as you climb up 1,000 feet, and then 2,000 feet, and then 3,000. You're going up 1,000 feet per mile. This big log is a marker of sorts. Climb over, it's awkward, then look up and see evidence of the massive Eagle Creek fire from 2017. Flames burned both trunks here, but the trees are still alive. A bit farther up, you'll start to see more burned trees, some dead from the fire. Okay, we're about 4.3 miles in, and we've reached a part where we're in the trees, and it's just going up and up and up. You can kind of see a lot of the burned out trees there. I mean, all along the way here, we've been seeing that. Nearly five years after the fire, the underbrush has returned, but some trees seem frozen in time. Although, if you look closely, you will see nature's tenacity. Then, it's time to climb again, and you will find more surprises along the way. Oh yeah. This is my favorite spot on this entire hike. It is spectacular and gorgeous. A huge scree slope. Take a look. It goes for miles and miles. From there, it's more climbing. In late May, I ran into snow about a quarter mile from the top. It made the climb a bit more challenging, and I lost the trail at one point. But as long as you keep going up, you'll find your way to a road. After bushwhacking all the way up, you see, oh, there's a four by four trail. It goes all the way up here to the communications tower. And I think there is another trail on the other side there. I don't know where the rocks are in the tree. So, we're gonna go by road or by trail? <sighs> yeah, let's go by trail. Follow the path up and you'll come to the road again. It took me five hours to reach the top. Another three and a half to get back down and I burned 3,600 calories. By the way, the actual top is not all that exciting unless you're a broadcast engineer. But 
Take a moment to look out from the highest point in the Columbia Gorge, and on a clear day, you'll find spectacular views and realize you have made it to the top of an enchanting viewpoint that few ever see for themselves. If you are fit and ready for a challenge, Mount Defiance might just be the perfect reason to say, let's get out there. Pat Doris, KGW News.